What began as a quiet passage has now started to bite us in the bum. We break down mid-ocean, but not before we catch our biggest mahi-mahi, get circled by a shark, party into the night, bump into our buddy boat Cuba and spot our first glimpse of the Caribbean. It's day five Ooh, and it's a bit brawly today. Sorry, I'm just making some soup. Steve decided in this heat he wanted soup for lunch. Uh, it's a rum and chicken soup. This is our bed. This is what we sleep in each night. Or well, on our, when we're not on watch, this is where we sleep. And that there, this thing here, is a leak lock. And that stops us from kind of, when the boat's rolling, it stops you from kind of rolling out. Anyway, I've got a par baked roll in the oven. Miss that? I'm doing chicken soup here, which actually doesn't look very appetising. Uh, I'm going to make it easy, I'm going to put it in these. Then we can hold it and eat it. Considering this is day five, it's not, not too untidy. still big we're still doing about well an average of about five and a half knots um correctly if this carries on we would have done the whole passage in 16 days which is marvelous but we'll see steve's just taking gus for a uh, whittle it's very rolly at the moment but it's good the days are flying past but from where it's hitting, but then that surprised me. I've seen how far they go. The thing is, they get up on the, on the crest of a wave and they come out off the top of the crest of the wave. So they're quite high. We've got scales on the boom, on the mizzen boom. Cover. <laughs> how mad. That's quite high for a flying fish. <laughs> We're Steve and Annette, and with our little pooch Gus, we live on our Venus 46 catch. Our life is simple. We are going to sell as far as we can for as long as we can and we want to share it all with you. Steve, get your phone ready or my phone with it. It's a beautiful colour before we lose the colours. <laughs> what a stunning fish you are. Pull that fin up again. Wow. Wowie. <laughs> Whoa. 180. That's that's what your t-shirt looks like. A dartboard. That's what happens when you've been at sea for <laughs> nine days. That's what happens when you've been at sea for nine days. See, everyone knows that that t-shirt's been around for months. <laughs> Yeah, I know, waiting for this moment. I begged you to buy a new one, Kate Burley, would you? No, no, no. no, no. Sit, name that tune, okay? And I'm gonna hum it, and you're gonna say it, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. Oh come on! If I keep, if I do the next bit, you'll know what it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on! Valley High from South Pacific. Oh, but why would I know that? <laughs> <laughs> right, here's one then. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to whip myself up. Right, here's another one then. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I can't get this one. I'm so 
Yes! There! He's there! Where? Over there! I've just seen it swimming past quite fast! Yeah. It's going round in front of us! Are we safe? Get him in, Steve! Just gone past on this side there in front of you. Stay on hold. There it is. It turns like that, upside down, and it has a completely white belly. What is it? <laughs> I don't know, do I? You hang on. Uh, I think it was more like this fish shark. No, it wasn't a shark, it was a friendly thing, not a shark. Sharks are only not friendly when you bait them. They came round us because they wanted to eat us. They? Oh, was that more than one? Yes, there was a whole school of pack of them. Oh, shut up, you're exaggerating now, there was one. <laughs> one very large one. Frozen sprout. Don't eat it. I left you a little something. <laughs> now that will give you the blinking farts. Oh, Steve, that's gone straight out of the freezer, you animal. I've lost a lure. My favourite lure. It was lovely and blue and silver. No, I'm really annoyed. I've just lost it. Not I've just lost it. Put it out yesterday and it's gone today. That definitely shows that we're nearly there because it's cleared that two seconds ago. It's difficult to show you exactly how bad it is. You've just gone past a whole load. The nearer the Caribbean we got, the more sargassum seaweed we saw. In the end we didn't deploy the duogen, it was just too much hassle. nautical miles to go before we reach Martinique. Nighttime watches were amazing. We did a four and three hour watch each with a crossover period in between to have dinner and coffee. Every sunset on the passage was magnificent. pilot freaked out and went into standby on its own then straight back into auto um steve wanted to just ch do a cell change so he was out doing a cell change it was on standby and i felt the steering go stiff and then very loose and then stiff 
Steve's just gone down to have a look and the steering cable's jumped off. Is it ju what jumped off the quadrant? Yeah. Jumped off the quadrant. So now he's trying to fix that. One of the cables has come off the track. Um, they were new cables that I fitted this year but they've had a really good obviously a really good workout on this passage and I think they've just stretched luckily the sea's a bit calmer and the winds well there is no wind so couldn't have happened at a better time so I've managed to get the steering back together I've noticed that one of the um one of the nuts is not this nut but a nut like this has um stripped its thread but because it's an Edson steering system, they're not metric, they're Imperial, or is it American? American, I don't know. But anyway, um, <laughs> as luck would have it, I do keep quite a few. So I couldn't get the nut off that had stripped, but what I've done is I've put nut on it. So I'll put double nut behind the stripped nut. 16, day 16, we've had to turn the engine on. Steve's so very upset. We're really hoping to avoid it. The sails are just slatting. It's day 17 and we've had our first score. Luckily it wasn't bad and passed us quite quickly. It's strange though, the nearer we get to the Caribbean, the more cloud we are seeing. I suspect it has something to do with land mass. Today is day 18 and it's our last day, our last full day. Um, we think we'll be going into St Anne's Bay it's the first thing in the morning. There's Gus. <laughs> and today the wind's been really good. We're actually doing 5.9 at the moment, but we're averaging about 4. Steve's having a little sleep. I'm going to go and do some lunch. And we're looking forward to tomorrow. I wonder when we'll spot land. Yay! After over 2,000 nautical miles! The are coming! The most epic... Fear vessel. Fear vessel. The most epic race of two sailing channels <laughs> crossing an ocean. Finally, we're sailing together again. Hello! <laughs> Almost there! <laughs> Welcome to the Caribbean Bay! <laughs> I was just saying, I think we've done brilliantly to stay this close together. Yeah. There goes the Cordelian. They're gonna make it to the Caribbean before us. No, we're gonna raise them. Okay. I've just woken up. I thought Steve was gonna wake me at first light, but he didn't. You're snoring. I slept in the cockpit. And you get so angry when you wake up. I was really asleep then. Here yeah, you were. Yeah, no, but it was quite I never. Nice. I, I even did two real big ripper farts. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking you're you're going to go mental. Nothing. No, I never heard a thing. Blind ho! Anyway, we're here. <laughs> we're here. We're here, Steve. We're all going back. I don't like it. Hi, Cassie. Hi, hi. Welcome to the Caribbean. Yeah, 2,150 miles, something like that. Uh, we haven't quite got there. We've just got to turn the corner and go into the bay, but we've done it. Well done. Uh, it's been a fantastic trip. We are absolutely ecstatic to be here, aren't we? Yep. Wow, what a fantastic ocean passage. Thank you for sharing it with us. A big thank you to Ian from SV Blown Away for sharing our Iridium Go posts on Facebook during the passage and keeping everyone up to date. 
a massive thank you to all of our supporters who are helping us to create these videos and an even bigger thank you to our family for supporting us in our dream. Join us next week as we take our first steps ashore in Martinique.